According to Hindu cosmology, we are currently living in the 28th Chaturyuga, in the 7th Manvantantara of Vayavasvata Manu. Chaturyuga means cycle of four yugas, which are Krita, Dreta, Drata, Dwapara, and Kali. But today, we will talk about Swayamhuva Manu, who was the first Manu of Hindu mythology. Swayamhuva Manu was born from the mind of Lord Brahma. He had two sons, namely Prayavrata and Uttanapada. We have already discussed the story of King Uttanapada's legendary son Dhruva in our previous videos. So let's discuss about the descendants of King Priyavrata in this video. Priyavrata was the eldest son of Swayambhuva Manu. He had ten sons. Three adopt a religious life. The others become kings of the seven Devipas or Isles of the Earth. Agnitra, king of Jambudvipa, divides it into nine portions, which he distributes amongst his son. Namphi, king of the south, succeeded by Rasabha, and he by Bharata, India named after him Bharata. His descendants reigned during the Svayambhuva Manvantara. Prayavrata married Kamya, the daughter of the patriarch Kardama, and had by her two daughters, Samrat and Kuksi, and ten sons. Wise, valiant, modest, and dutiful, named Agnitra, Agnibahu, Vapushmat, Medha, Diyuta, Medhatiti, Bhadhadya, Savala, Putra, and the tenth was Jadatismat, illustrious by nature as by nature as by name. These were the sons of Prayavrata, famous for strength and prowess. Of these, three or Medha, Putra, and Agnabahu adopted a religious life. Remembering the occurrences of a prior existence, they did not covet dominion, but diligently practiced the rites of devotion in due season, wholly disinterested and looking for no reward. Prayavrata, having divided the earth into seven continents, gave them respectively to his other seven sons. To Agnitra, he gave Jambudvipa. To Medhatiti, he gave Plaksadvipa. He installed the Pushmat in the sovereignty over the Divipa of Salmali and made Jyotishmat king of Kusadvipa. He appointed Dayutimat to rule over Kranjadvipa, Bavia to reign over Sakadvipa, and Savala he nominated the monarch of the Devipa of Puskara. Adnidra, the king of Jambudvipa, had nine sons, equal in splendor to the patriarchs. They were named Nabhi, Himpurusa, Harivarsa, Ilavrasa, Ilavrita, Ramya, Hiranvat, Kuru, Padrasva, and Ketumala. Adnidra gave to Nabhi the country called Hima, south of the Himavat, or snowy mountains, the country of Himakuta he gave to Kimpurusa, and to Harivarsa, the country of Misadha, the region in the center of which Mount Meru is situated, he conferred on Ilavrita, and to Ramya, the countries lying between it and the Nila mountain. To Hiranvat, his father, gave the country lying to the north of it, called Sveta, and on the north of the Sveta mountains, the country bounded by the Sringavan range he gave to Kuru. The countries on the east of Meru he assigned to Badrasva and Gandamadana, which lay west of it, he gave to Ketumala. Having installed his son's sovereigns in these several regions, the pious king Agnidra retired to a life of penance at the holy place of pilgrimage, Salagrama. The eight varsas or countries, Kimpurusa and the rest, are places of perfect enjoyment, where happiness is spontaneous and uninterrupted. In them, there is no vicissitude, nor the dread of decrepitude or death. There is no distinction of virtue or vice, nor difference of degree, as better or worse, nor any of the effects produced in this region by the revolutions of age. Nabvi, who had for his portion the country of Himawa, had by his Queen Meru the 
magnanimous Raisabha, and he had a hundred sons, the eldest of whom was Bharata. Raisabha, having ruled with equity and wisdom, and celebrated many sacrificial rites, resigned the sovereignty of the earth to the heroic Bharata, and, retiring to the hermitage of Palastya, adopted the life of an anchorite practicing religious penance and performing all prescribed ceremonies until, emaciated by his austerities so as to be but a collection of skin and fibers, he put a pebble in his mouth and naked went the way of all flesh. The country was termed Bharata from the time that it was relinquished to Parata by his father on his retiring to the woods. Bharata, having religiously discharged the duties of his station, consigned the kingdom to his son Sumati, a most virtuous prince, and, engaging in devout practices, abandoned his life at the holy place, Salagrama. He was afterwards born again as a Brahmin in a distinguished family of ascetics. This was the creation of Svayam Huvamanu, by which the earth was peopled, when he presided over the first Manvantara in the Kalpa of Varaha. <laughs>